Greetings everyone and thank you for rejoining me here in Y4 Expert AI 4.0 mod included Vanilla in which we are playing of course is Japan. Last time we finished off the Chinese and basically reorganized their government into something that we could really manage. Now we have struggled a little bit against the Soviet Union actually and we've stopped attacking. Uh, looks like some of our guys are still attacking sort of in some places which is oh, kind of okay. So, kind of not okay, because I don't want to lose any more guys. That wouldn't be okay with me. Look at, let's get the airbase. Um, but hope you're having a great day. We made an encirclement in Mongolia when the Mongolians capitulated, but we definitely need to make sure we got enough guns. Oh, no, we have enough guns. We just need a lot more artillery. Artillery and motorized torpedo cruisers, though, we have just unlocked. And let's go ahead and do some... Modern escorts, because why not? Our fleets require the most modern escorts to operate unhindered by enemy subs and torpedo boats. Absolutely. Cool. We can do more stuff. I, I think I'm just going to hang out for now. For the most part, I really don't want to attack and lose supply, lose soldiers, lose a lot of things. So, just gonna hang out for now if we can. We will attack if we can into certain areas. Like, ooh, man, you guys are looking weak over here. Ooh, they got five divisions of 20 combat width. Well, the rest of these guys are still 20 combat width. These guys are regular, just infantry battalions. These guys are uh, artillery battalions. Not bad, not bad. Um, yeah, hopefully we can push a little more because the Germans. Well, there's, there's a lot of things going on over here, but someone is trying a D-Day. Okay. Okay, yeah. Okay, try D-Day. Yeah, several. Oh, wow, that is... The Allies actually got ports. Wow, that is not good. Looks like the Soviets either attacked or the Germans are uh, doing something. Um, Not entirely sure, but regardless. Casualty rate, 2.7, quarter million. And we've killed off 300,000 of them, and they're still attacking us like crazy, which is good to see, but still. Yeah, we could really use a little bit more artillery. A couple comments from yesterday say, you know, we had, we were struggling a little bit, like, over here with subs. So I recommend to make more task forces with destroyers and escort, or cruisers, light cruisers. Um, we could do that, but I already can't make ships, and I'd have to strip away from these, some of these task, task forces. I mean, it'd be nice to do that. But at this point, I don't know, man. Maybe I just need more resources. Oh, I should have done this a little earlier. Get some more of that, and then get more production. What do we need oh burst Malia, come on man i mean we're doing okay on fuel not great uh, we're getting some steel from manchuko which we need to lower their autonomy eventually uh and get some from there that'd be great yes please more steel we can actually build some ships now good and we can actually support building more artillery pieces looks like that's good but even though our deficit is massive massive deficit of artillery it's very very unideal un anything over here no you're just a generic 10 combat with infantry division not really useful for me just right now. Uh, you guys could actually probably beat the snot out of these guys, honestly. I'd be very surprised if you could not. Oh, there's a lot of battles going on in this area. Whoa, look at the allies. They're actually invading. They kicked the guys out of here. Let's see what they can do. Oh, boy. Germany, you are... Hmm. Hmm. Germany, you got to hold. We got to beat the Soviets as fast as possible. Oh, we actually lost a convoy still. That's not good. Oh, you guys are actually filling out the line. That's nice. That's good. Good. Any more divisions? Nothing of interest, really. It's fine. Soviets. Oh, God, I hate the Soviets so much. I want to continue attacking, but I just don't think it'd be worth it. But we could try, especially once our guys get down to wherever they need to be. They are attacking us. They are attacking us still, which is kind of surprising. Go and help out here. You should be able to win it. Three against one. I mean, not a, no one here is really that strong. That's okay. Uh, oh, I don't need more divisions. We just need more equipment. Hmm. Germany, for the love of God, I hope you can hold on. You've got to hold on, Germany. Oh, they're coming in like dogs. Ooh. It looks like they are pushing here a little bit. They actually made an encirclement without any supplies. Interesting. Very interesting. I mean, Russia, I mean, Soviet Union, if you want to keep attacking, that's fine with me, but... Germany, I'd be very, very concerned about that naval invasion. They're doing multiple naval invasions at the same exact time. Hmm. If that's the case, we might really need to keep up pressure on the Soviet Union. Let's go ahead and do that. It's not ideal. It, I really don't want to do this because it's so bad to do. But it looks like we got a lot of green everywhere, actually. That's not too bad, then. It's just, we have to put as much pressure on the Soviet Union as possible. Look, I, if Germany falls, so be it. That would honestly probably be the end of the campaign for us. But, uh, oh man. Oh man, they are really coming in. If I can beat up the Soviet Union and have Germany rescue themselves, basically, by th throwing an army over here, that'd be great. I really could use... Germany as a good bulwark against the Allies. That is what my what I would really really want. All right, they're taking we're taking more casualties. They're taking more casualties. That's okay with me. Slovakia. It, what is Italy doing? They have, 
this is expert AI, right? So they have lost n literally no one to... Hmm. Huh. When do we get these four divisions out? Not yet. That's fine. But, hmm. Mm, I mean, it looks like we're doing okay. I mean, fighting through here is just... Never fight a land war in Asia. Just never. It's so bad. And that's why I'm doing it, and you guys are not, hopefully. Even though we are pushing these guys out here, which is really nice. That's really, really nice. Well, for the most part. Maybe not everywhere. Oh, they have... Yeah, you probably won't win against six divisions in there. So, just saying. Everyone, everywhere else, though. I mean, totally fine. Totally fine. You are not very bueno, Germany. You've got to hold out. Don't let them get Brittany. Or, well, crap. They got Scherborg. Yeah, this might be the end of Germany already. Uh, they're even invading up here. That is insane. That is really insane. So much for historical. D-Day has happened in 43. March of 43. Hmm. Keep the pressure up on the Soviets. All right. oh, they're out of manpower. Holy crap. What? Hold on. They did go total mobilization, so we, you got to keep that in mind. They went total mobilization, extensive conscription. Do they have national... They have national spirits to give them more manpower, right? This is still like base game Soviet Union with their really not great focus. Are you military schools? Yeah, I mean... I mean, I understand why they need to do naval production, but they're... The Soviets are out of manpower. That is... Hmm. Hmm. And now we have a bigger deficit of artillery. That sucks. Guns are slowly going down as well, but... If they're out of manpower, they are sunk. Last time we checked out, they had no equipment left. Hey, look, they died here, too. So... Oh, we probably won't be able to cause too much, but the Germans seem like they are actually pushing in. Oh, my gosh, that is... Oh, I don't know what to say anymore. I don't know. How did the Soviets run out of manpower? Especially on expert AI. Oh, oh, oh they got a port in here. That's not good. Germany, you cannot... Uh, actually, Germany actually was able to push out the allies in the Benelux and North, almost all of northern France. Holy crap. Germany, you're doing... You're doing work, son. Oh, my gosh. And Italy, I don't even know what you're doing. I mean, how have you taken no losses? I guess you're, they're not fighting the Soviets. That's why. We can only see the Soviet front. Get some more recon. Uh, so that makes sense, actually. That makes a lot more sense. Uh, any other divisions? God, please stop giving me this garbage. When do we get our cryptology thing done? With, um... Ah, uh, two months. Which, they should... They'll probably still exist in two months, but... Mm, we'll see. This is not looking bad. How many divisions do they have? Somewhere between that many. Hmm. Modern escorts. We could make torpedo cruisers, but I'm kind of content with what we're making right now. Small arms modernization. Our military forces require modernized weaponry to be able to compete with those of our potential enemies. And you know what? U.S. is at war with Germany, so that means we'll have to fight if we want to fight them. They have a big old army. Oh, they're actually pushing in the Baltics. Nice. Yeah, if Russia runs out of manpower, it's kind of GG for them. I mean, that's, that's just nuts. When is the last time you ever heard of Russia running out of manpower? Get some more output, too. Because we need artillery... Oh my goodness, we're going to use so many more guns and support equipment as well. Uh, do that. Uh, I can't lower anything here. Go ahead and do that as well. We could use more fuel and rubber. But also build up some things in Qingdao. Oh, there you go. I like that. Oh, come on. If you can cut them off right there, then they, they have to use their own little escorts, convoys. You know what? Go ahead and see if you can blow up a couple things around here. If you can, that would be great. Do you have any upgrades... Yamamoto. Oh, yes, you do, my son. Oh, torpedo bomber. Air attack. Air mission efficiency for carriers. For naval bombers. Dive bombers. Fighter. Oh, fighter sortie efficiency. That could... Oh, God, that looks so good. I've never been able to get to this one. Really, ever. Sortie efficiency, sortie efficiency. Ah, oh, man. If you can have sortie efficiency for your fighters, there's no enemy carrier group that can probably destroy you. And this will help you defend more against enemy planes that are based on land. As much as I want to go torpedo bombers, I would love that, but go with that so no one can compete with us here. Naval mining lane, that's okay. Visibility, we don't care about visibility. We want more penalty sets probably for the enemy, because visibility is not going to work for us at all really here, so that's okay, I think. That's the way I see it. And you probably don't have very much. Oh, you're selling Hunter. Torpedo chance, Lancer, torpedo screen. Um, as much as I like that one, <sighs> penetration, screen penetration. Screw it, we'll do it. Let's max out them torpedoes as best we can. We want to get some subs as well. Hey, the sucker convoy. Good, 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 good. Let's see what happens with that stuff. Keep up the pressure on the Soviets. Now, we're not winning up here, which really sucks, but that makes sense. Why? I really don't think we can afford to wait, because they are out of manpower completely. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> oh, another convoy. Good. Oh, boy. What's going on over here? Another convoy? Another five convoys? Or just one? Okay. 
Oh, we cut these guys off. Nice. Maybe we can see more convoys this way. That'd be so good. Go, Germany. Go, go, go. Actually, they kicked him out. Jesus Christ. That is... That's impressive. I'm, I'm a little impressed. Not gonna lie. Now, we could be using some of these guys. I think I'm gonna might wait. I think I'm going to might wait. I think I'm gonna wait till we get down here. Uh, retention cap. Cap and growth. Yeah, cap and growth is the way to go. Get some better medium tanks. I'm gonna go ahead and throw in, like... Mm, I love the strength that you guys recommended for me to use on these different types of tanks. The armor is just too low for me right now, though. So I'm gonna switch them out with medium tanks, maybe? It actually lowers the combat width, too, huh? Uh, are we actually still making those? Light tanks. We're done making them, so... Actually gives you maybe a slightly less soft attack, but everything else is pretty good. Look at that. Oh, man, they actually invaded Tr Throndheim. Interesting. Gomel? What is that? Kursk? Kursk? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're taking quite a few losses. Actually, not that many. Germany's suffer being suffered a little bit more than us, actually, maybe. 3.1 million. We've killed off 700,000 of them. So, if anything, we are the ones doing work right now. Because Germany, while they killed off like another 100 to 200,000 more Soviets, we've been killing off hundreds of thousands with them in the past few months compared to the Germans, which the Germans are probably exhausted by this point. I mean, it is 43. I mean, we're kind of exhausted too, don't get us wrong. Like, we had to fight China, but now China's under us. Someone was wounded. Get down here. We're good for now. We don't need your divisions. We will need them once America goes to war with us, because they will go to war with us eventually. Don't get me wrong. Hey, Finland's coming back too. Nice, good, good. It's always good to see Finland. We love the Finns. Radar mm, probably would not help us right now. Mm. It will eventually, though. Right, Resource-wise, are we looking? Military police, that'd be good to throw on if we had support equipment. Looking pretty good, 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 good. Let's get some more rubber. No, no, let's not, let's not get rubber. Let's get some of this. And I want to trade away one for one less of this. Uh, lower the number of convoys we need. Actually, lower it by two. I'm going to grab more steel. Oh, never mind. I'm not going to grab more steel then. Do we still need you then? Yeah, we do. That's fine. And you, we can still trade with the U.S. That's kind of funny. Dutch East Indies. Cool. Not bad. Not bad. Doing okay. Unfilled import requests from... Oh, that's fine. That, uh, we actually have finally have enough steel. We can actually make ships. We can actually do stuff now. Except, you know, make sure we have enough for everything. Hmm. I have a cup of coffee here, pretty good. Okay, Manchukuo, come on. Come on, son. Guys. Oh, crap. Now the Soviets are back out at it. Well, okay, you guys do that then. And then you guys. This is going to kill off my fuel, so that's not good. Hunt them down, boys. Hunt them down. I'm, I'm just lazy with my navy like that. It's alright, though. There's not that many losses of of convoys, so. <laughs> Tungsten war bonds would be so nice, but I don't think so. Oh, they have actually cut, cut off the Baltics a little bit. Even though they still have a port over there. Save that for now. Over here, we're going to grab infantry equipment designer. You might as well. That's fine. Oh, they're coming back with a vengeance. It's going to be killing off lots of people here. We got down to that. Germany is on the offensive. Well, or maybe the Soviets killed themselves so hard that they can't really do much about it. Oh my gosh, guys. Chinese puppets, please. What is wrong with you? Well, there's not wrong with them. It's just the convoys are sinking. Stuff like that. We gotta make more subs. Oh, we're gonna need a little bit more fuel, too, eventually, too. That's not good. But well, that's understandable. Cool. Get you guys to get down here, too. I'm gonna send you this way. Where are you guys headed? You lost all the organization moving around? Well, so be it. And upgrades? Nope, nope, nope. And that's fine. That is totally okay right now. Anywhere we can help out with infrastructure, maybe? Like, right there? It's fine with me. Go ahead and move it up to the top. That's fine. Any other divisions? Nope. It's fine with me. Hey, we actually sent another sub. Great. Hmm. Hmm. You know what, let's get everyone a good planning bonus, because I did raise the amount of planning that these guys have. Um, for you guys, I'll probably do the Raj next. You know, I really don't want to go to war with them, like I said before. Really don't. But, we do have you guys down here, so I'm going to move you guys up here next. 
Oh, he actually broke over. That's nice. That's in you guys right there. Keep destroying any convoys. You fine. Don't keep attacking for now. Um, I mean, if you're winning, that's great, but still, very much still. Actually, what is our war score? Twenty-eight percent, fifty-three percent. Eh, the Romanians have done pretty good. Even the Hungarians have done, have done a little bit. After this, I could probably imagine that'd be some sort of good uh, sea line invasion. But Norway is coming back, and that's not good. That's really not good. Nice. Yeah, just keep it on down there if you can. Uh, do we got any more Chinese divisions? No, we do not. That are useful. I'd say that first. Yes, please. Gun-wise, we're hanging on. Oh my gosh, support equipment is looking so bad. It's amazing actually having enough steel, though, finally. It's a, an amazing thing to feel. You have steel. So, yes, I'm actually going to throw you right here. See what you can do. Small arms modernization, very cool. Strategic bomber effort, now we good. Bicycle battalions. Mobilization is key, or mobility is key. Our forces will be equipped with bicycles, drastically improving our ability to maneuver divisions around. Well, we'll see what happens. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to use them. I'm already pretty content in the ways of what we already have, so. Uh, we got the breakthrough ready. Get more planning bonus. Let everyone get prepared, because we're going to do the best we can. We'll take in less losses, hopefully. Hopefully. Hey, we did it. Good job, guys. Good job. And I'm going to send you guys back down here. Okay. You guys are 20 combat width, normal motorized. Well, you guys, you three are 39 combat width with medium tanks. Cool. Construction three. Go ahead and immediately get more extraction. And can someone not give me all the fuel I want? Oh, Dutch East Indies, please don't disappoint me like that, man. I'm still training with the U.S., huh? There you go. Keep it pretty much the same. Still need a little more aluminum, but you know, whatever. It doesn't matter. Really doesn't matter. Where are you guys at? You guys are moving around. Let's just just let them move around for now. Let the Germans suffer a couple more hits first. Because even though they're, they were losing Norway, they're doing pretty darn well now. They're approaching Stalingrad. They're approaching Moscow. Leningrad, well, it's still getting there, but that's okay. How is China doing, actually? Bureau of Investigations and Statistics. Cool. 5 million manpower. Finally, they got more manpower. They have 95 divisions. Please make it something better than 10 combat width. Please, this is, I thought this was supposed to be expert AI. I thought they are supposed to make, like, you know, better, better divisions, maybe? Please, China, you can make, like, probably 70 combat with infantry and still do okay, maybe. Blueprint stealing, portable radios, because why not? We got plenty of fuel now. I love this. See, we're never aggressive towards America. They got nothing to fight, worry about. Oh my god, please stop doing this. China, please. If I have to, I will use you as garrisons, but still, come on. That's looking a little better. Looking a little worse. Just probably because we have a lot of resistance resistance and stuff. Oh my god, Germany's... Oh, you know what? <sighs> Since Moscow's a front line city, let's go ahead. Just go ahead. Alright. Let's you know, hopefully spell the end of the Soviet Union. They've lost over 7... Oh my god, Germany's really rounded up. 5.8 million Soviet deaths. Holy cow. 233 divisions? Oh man, oh man. Yeah, I'm probably just going to straight up annex all this. You know, it's a lot of resistance. I'd still probably rather have it under me. I don't. I mean, we could make like a, maybe a Russian puppet, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. The fall of Stalingrad, advancing German spearheads to seize Stalingrad, Stalin's, Stalin's namesake city, on the banks of the Volga. Oh my goodness! It's 43. We could grab more of that, but we don't really need that right now. We could grab signal companies, but I don't know, man. <sighs> Air doctrine, naval stuff. We have this. We're trying to get there. We might just prepare ourselves. Uh, grab that first. To make 1944 ships. That might be actually good. I might make a beeline for carriers. That might be for the best. Does anyone else have upgrades here yet? Nope, that's fine. Yeah. As long as you attack the Soviet Union from two sides and have breakthrough and make sure that they take. Fall of Moscow. There he goes. Is this the end of the Soviet Union? We've already taken Vladivostok. And make sure that they run out of manpower. Thank you, Expert AI uh, 4.0 mod. Thanks a lot for doing that. Um, and they're only like, they only have 2% population conscription, or oh, 2.5% because they have militarized schools, but... You know what? They must not have gone mass assault, right? Because mass assault gives you more manpower. They don't have any more manpower, do they? Well, I guess we couldn't really tell if they don't with their land auction. But usually mass assault gives you more, like, regardless of size, you get, like... Uh... 
No more manpower on... Oh, you see 5% right there. Recruitable population. They must not have gone that way. Um, Did they get manpower over here at all? Doesn't look like it. Okay, so they might not have uh, gone at least that direction. Maybe they chose mass assault. But it is expert AI, so... Hmm. Oh, now we're out of steel again. God dang it, guys. Okay, Leningrad is falling as well. Okay, then. Okay, yeah, why not? Germany, we will soon be able to trade without trade with you without needing to split up. Um, that's not bad. 20, still 25%. Oh, the Soviet Union is going to collapse. Oh, my gosh. S Germany is on fire right now. 6.2. Oh, my gosh. Nearly 8 million lost. Soviets. Soviets, look at what you did. You're comp... Oh, look at all... Wow, they're making a... They want to make a lot of stuff. Um, yeah. They're out of artillery. Jesus Christ. They're out of artillery, too? <sighs> these are the Chinese divisions we made. They're doing pretty well for themselves. 40 combat with... Uh, they actually... I made these guys special, because that's why they have the artillery icon. They have six battalions of artillery, just to throw in as much soft attack as I possibly could. The organization's okay, but... <sighs> that soft attack isn't bad. That's what I usually like to do when I take over China. Make six... Was it 611 or something? Six, which is like three... So that's 18, 18, yeah, 6, 11. 6 artillery battalions, 11 infantry battalions. Yeah, um, Moscow, Soviet Union's going to collapse very soon. I'm kind of surprised I haven't already. They lost the big three cities, and then Vladivostok, so. So everything behind the Urals we'll take. Uh, we'll split up, probably split up Iran as well. Actually, no, Iran's in the access, so they get to keep that. Oh boy, we're going to make TNO here, aren't we? Except we're going to lose Siberia. Well, hopefully we don't lose Siberia. We'll see what happens. You might be able to actually lower this. I don't want to support America too much more, so. Thank you. Alright, get up. There you go. Nice. Very nice. Oh boy. It's lagging. Uh oh. Oh boy. What's going on? And they've capitulated. Great. So I'm going to give uh, Germany almost all this stuff. Poland is kind of there too, huh? Well, that's not good for the Allies. Um, here's what we're gonna do. Germany, good luck with all this. I'm gonna give it all to you, because I don't know how the AI wants to react to taking all this territory. They might garrison it, they might form Reichskommissariats, which I hope is in vanilla. If it's not in vanilla, I mean, that's pathetic, man. It better be in vanilla, because even, I know Darkest Hour, but Hoi 2, Hoi 3 had that, I think. Then again, those games had DLC as well, so. Uh, that's what I'll be, actually, we'll give this to Romania. I'm not exactly sure what they want to do, but that's okay. I'm gonna do that first. Uh, Romania. Now uh, we gotta get a nice little home for Dernitz there. Oh my goodness. Stalingrad, Yurolsk. Well, hopefully you'll see Muscovy in here soon enough. Cool, and that's mostly what you're gonna get, Germany. I think out of this. There you go, because we'll take the we'll take the actual mountains. So, um, actually, let's, let's make sure that our pup, Chinese puppet get it, what it deserves, like of Tibet and Xinjiang. That'll look nice. And you know what will be nice? We'll give you Mongolia too, because I don't want to deal with that. And we'll court. Well, we might court for them. Maybe, maybe not. That's gonna be a nice, really nice China. And I'll take everything else. Thank you. God dang. Now that's one nice Riken, that's one nice Japan. I'm not, I swear to God, man. Alright, let's see what we need after that. We're good on supplies! We're good on steel! Look at that! We're at peace! I, I'm a little surprised we're actually we're at peace. Uh, at this point, I guess it's good to go to war with the Allies, but I'm gonna wait first, maybe? Maybe we'll go to war with the Allies? I don't know. I mean, the goal would be to take out India. Can I actually go to war with Afghanistan so I can have a bigger border with uh, India? That'd be kind of nice if I could. Ah, good, four more divisions. Great. So I'm going to split you guys up. So here we go. Everyone but you. We've got time, hopefully. Go ahead and switch to biggies. That'd be good. Every, uh, you guys are 20 combat with. Switch to biggies as well. Because I just want the raw firepower of these divisions to do really well. You guys, come on down to here. Which we'll build up infrastructure. We're going to build ourselves up even bigger. Which would be nice. Everyone here. 
is 20 combat width. Switch him to biggies, because we don't have the supplies, but that's okay. I don't really care. And you guys are okay. You guys are 20 combat width, and you guys are what? Oops. Oh, you guys are good. Actually, since you, I've already grabbed you. Um, you guys can do that. But half you guys are coming this way. Before I forget, let's increase the structure there. There we go. That's a little better. Yeah, we're definitely going to be building ourselves up a little bit more and more and more and more. Uh, we can probably let Tungo on then. If that's the case, for now, have you guys. Ooh. You, come here. You, come here. So for now, I'm actually going to have you guys train. Let everyone train. Because we need more naval XP for now. Awesome. Uh, let time go on a little slowly. This is not going to be good for the Allies after the Soviet Union has fallen. I mean, thank you, AI. Thank you so much for that. That was probably one of the best gifts they could have given us. Marines. I'm going to take the Marines out and put him back under a new general. Different general this time. Uh, let's see. Samurai guy, probably. Uh, yeah. Sadao, sure. You guys looking pretty good. And you are 20 combat width. Make them thick. Good. You're just a spare army, just in case. You guys are looking pretty good. You guys are looking okay-ish. It's going to take forever to get this much artillery, but I don't really care. Uh, I'm not going to get rid of that. Don't do that yet. Because... We're going to need some garrisons. <sighs> it costs so much support equipment to put these guys on, but you know I'm going to leave them on. You can probably reduce this by 10, though. It's going to cost so much support equipment to keep them on there, but that's fine with me. I don't really care. There you go. Make some of these guys. Because we're going to get a lot of them. Nice. Cool. Oh, wait. We have Gearsons. Oh, wait. You are Gearsons. Oh, you are Gearsons, too. Oh, wait. What? Oh, I already duplicated. Okay. Alright, well, bye-bye then. Whoops, I wasted some army XP. It doesn't really matter, though. Disperse industry. Good. We're getting all this stuff done, which is nice. Go in and make some nuclear stuff, because why not? We're making this stuff. Let's make some more civilian factories here, too. Just because I want to make sure that we're doing okay. That was probably one of the faster times I've actually capitulated the Soviet Union. Yeah, especially when Germany's... Oh, boy. Please don't go to war with me, guys. That's not a smart idea on your side. Oh, we speak against Afghanistan. Good, very good, very good. Yeah, if we have to go to war with the Allies, it'll be it. Um, oh, 10 out of 10. Nice. Good job, guys. That's a... That's thinking ahead. Thinking ahead. I like that. Uh, is there any holes here? I'm looking for holes. Yeah, with that front open now, I'm not so sure they can really do well over there. Uh, we might have you guys invade. Maybe, maybe not. Hmm... Actually, you know what? Here's what we're going to do. I like this general. Yeah. Instead, who is this? Big fat guy. Oh, well, maybe not a huge fat guy. What do you say, dude? Yeah, you'll be leading over here because I'm, I'm splitting this army up. There you go. Get three more. Without you. Please, without you, me. Or Jen, I don't care. Cool. And I'm going to throw the rest of you guys somewhere else. Oh, I'll take one more from here. There you go. We have 13 guys, divisions, which is kind of a mess over here. I might get rid of the cavalry, though. Yeah. You guys are not bad. I'm throw you guys over here, though. There you go. Not bad, not bad. If you guys need to train, go right ahead. If you guys need to train, go right ahead. Army reorganization is a good thing to do. Netherlands moves government to Batavia. Good luck with that. And strategic bomber effort, because we can, much as we would like. Wars cannot be won easily through direct military confrontations alone. Industrial capability greatly influences the outcome of wars, and so we must invest in new strategic bomber models that can destroy the enemy's industry behind enemy lines. Well, we'll see about that. We will definitely, definitely, definitely see about that. So eventually, I would like to also increase the infrastructure here everywhere so we get some more resources. That would be very good. That'd be very, 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 very good, actually. Um, especially on the coast, around China, the part of China that it did take, so. That'd be good as well. And all the areas down here to get more, oh my gosh, more tungsten, more aluminum, all the good stuff. Yes, please. Yes, 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 yes. Even down here, I suppose, we can do that, too. It's fine. Train for now. We've got to make some more naval bases, too. But, that's going to take some time. That's, that's going to take some serious time. And it's 43, even. 
So the union is gone. Now, I don't know how the AI is going to react when we start fighting them in the seas. So, it'll be interesting to say the least. But it's great that uh, Soviet Union collapsed so quickly. I mean, I've never seen them go total mobilization without having any other, like, like, population, recruitable population factor at all. It's insane. Yeah, I'm going to even build up infrastructure here too. Just because I could use it. And we can build factories here faster, make them better and better, better, and lower their autonomy as well. That's good. And then we'll do you guys last because I forgot about you guys. Just because I forgot about you. There you go. Cool. Train if you need to. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and edit. Uh, different tanks. Yes, please. Remove. Throw on. Medium tanks for now. That's fine. Just remove. Cancel loneliness. That's fine. Medium tanks. That's good. Just going to convert them all for now. That's fine. 38. And then throw on. Uh, for now, that's fine. It's fine. So we're really out of guns, which actually aren't. It won't be too bad. We're plenty of motorized right now, though. We need more manpower too, eventually. Motorize. We'll probably take five off. Throw on ten more. Throw on fifteen. Ten more there too later on. Uh, artillery. Throw on that much. Go down to five here. Throw down that much. That'd be fine for now. Support equipment. Yeah, support equipment. A little lacking. Not gonna lie. A little lacking. Torpedo. I've never used torpedo cruisers. How good are these? Uh, we'll use them later. I don't have the army or naval XP to really boost them up. So I will use them. Maybe I'll use them as task forces. Maybe we'll do that. That's why I'm training the navy for now, though. And since we're here, let's finally get some naval stuff going. So this is not good. Special forces. Special forces attack and defense. We do have marines. Oh, the raiding regiment's not bad. But let's go with this one. Because I don't want to do draft exemptions. I have to do institute indiscriminate conscription. Which means, even though I want to do army aircraft, eventually, we have to do prioritize naval aircraft. So we have to do that one. And we'll form raiding regiments. No, this one. Dockyard construction speed. This will be good to do. Nice. Yes, let's do that one immediately. Lose some political power, but that's okay. we got to build, 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 build soon. Uh, and build up some dockyards. Good. One, two, three, four-ish. Not bad, not bad. Nice. Um, we've done we've done really well. How many more days we have down here, though? Hmm. Supplies probably not going to look too good around here. Are you suffering because of supplies, or is it just training? Looks probably just exercising. That's fine. How strong is Afghanistan? They're not guaranteed by anybody. That's good. Uh, I don't know. We can't really tell. They have only 60,000 manpower, so I'm not too worried about this. And this army is the first one, which is good. Cool. We really have not made that many planes. Jesus. Could do kamikaze strikes, but I think we'll be okay. Oh, we actually have better fighters down there. That's fine. Um, hmm. Put just one airbase here for tactical bombers. Sovereignty. I do want to kind of see what happens with Germany and everyone else. See how well they do over there. Just one base. That's fine. Cool. All right. We got to start focusing more on naval stuff. Uh, just go ahead and do that one. That's fine. And then we'll get some torpedoes. Really emphasize torpedoes now. Vichy France is taking more back of France. Norway still having issues. Um, Vichy France is looking pretty good. Italy's not looking bad. Oh, the Allies have invaded Greece. That's not good. The UK is looking pretty thick in Africa. Uh, how's Mr. FDR doing? Well, let's see. One to two million manpower on limited conscription. Don't know much about them. They might have a lot of divisions. They probably have a massive air force or navy and stuff like that. Oh, we probably should start thinking about making some a mass producing some naval bombers. Yeah, we're going to, have to do that. Mm. Let's get rid of our dependency on people who are in the Allies. I wonder if we have enough fuel by ourselves yet. Probably not, but that's okay. Currently getting one over one naval XP a day. Nice. Ooh, look at this. Submarinos, yes, please. Questions mode of Afghanistan. Well, we don't really need a navy for them, which is good. You guys look pretty decent down here. Even though supplies, oh my gosh, are terrible. Happy guys come back over here then. Don't hurt us with that. Uh, just stand there and don't... How much? How bad a supply? Ah, it's getting better. 6.4. Oh, you guys are... 
Oh, yeah, it's looking pretty good now. Nice. A Marine Division. 14 combat, but that's not that's not terrible. Hmm. Different tanks, not bad. Mountaineers, they're like 20, 20 what the heck? Classical battalions, 44 defense, replace that with regular infantry. You actually lose suppression reliability. It's cheaper to produce though. That's interesting. A little different. Nice. These are definitely special forces. It's good. The Marines are already 40 combat with, so we don't really need to edit those guys. I like these guys, but we gotta wait. Excavation. We got more than enough resources for now, which is awesome. Torpedoes. Don't want to get those. Max out torpedoes. Max out everything that we possibly can. Okay, this effort for them is done. That's good. That's very good, actually. Uh, another cipher that we want to do. Definitely don't want to beat up the Reich. Don't. Not really interested. Let's do the United States. It's gonna take forever to do, anyways, probably. Um, I don't want to do anything else here, really, just because I want to save those five factories for later. Anything here? We're pretty much done on the right side here. Left side. Let's go ahead and bypass the Philippines. We can always get a war goal against the Philippines later, so... Bypass them. Philippines are an unwelcome distraction on our way to our true goal. We shall ignore it for now. Yeah, who cares about going down south to attack those allied islands when you can take out the Soviet Union with the big boy called Adolf? I think it's worked out very well for us. They're struggling down here some more, but that's okay. Not bad. Really not bad at all. Modern rubber processing. Cool. Very good. Grab some more radar because we're going to need it to put on our ships. Mm-hmm. Uh, looking okay. I could probably use more military factories first before we develop too much else. Especially down here. Um, actually, how is how are supplies? Not looking good, so I'm actually okay with doing that. Half you guys. Uh, supplies are always so bad with these guys. Half you guys come this way. You could probably smash the heck out of those guys regardless, so... Oh, you guys already were half anyways. That's fine. Honestly, I might not even put my guys here since... Oh my god, supplies are so bad everywhere because... Mm hmm You know what? Don't even, don't even go there. Don't even go there. Let's see what we can do on our side here. That would probably be the best way we can push in. You guys are still doing okay-ish. You guys doing okay-ish. Just the desert and bad supply down here. That's kind of fine for now. You guys are... Oh, y'all are hanging out. I'm going to actually return you home then. Cool. Mm, Chief of the Navy. Capital ship attack. I like that. Air attack. Oh, I've never used this. Prince... Fushimi Hiroyasu. Kind of cool. Uh, yeah, why not? We'll do that one. Nope. Good save on manpower, maybe. Mountain. Oh, you're just you're just traveling for now. It's fine. Anyone here having issues? Anyone here having issues? Not really. That's good. Anyone here having issues? A little bit right here, actually. Exercise though, so that makes sense. Yeah, I'm not really interested in attacking anyone yet. Really not interested. These guys are really suffering. Well, how's the war going between these guys? German and Indian War. All right, Germany hasn't lost that many. Oh my gosh, the Allies have lost quite a few guys. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, the US has lost quite a few. Well, Fortress Europa goes Fortress Germany now, I guess, at this point. Anyone else having supply issues? How about down here? You guys are still training, so that makes sense. Down here at all? No, you're looking pretty good. Looking pretty darn good, not gonna lie. You guys looking good down here as well. I'm trying to make some subs. Could use even more dockyards though. Yeah, let's stop building up China so much. China's nice and all, but China, well, it's still China. Except for that group. Where is this one? You guys are over here. Yeah, the, oh, everything else below you can wait. Good. There we go. And also start building up some dockyards. Maybe here and here. Because we're going to need a massive... Navy to compete with Americans. Uh, no, we don't need any of those guys. And don't forget, military factory. Just run right there for now. Good. Oh my god, China, please. Oh, we go to war with Afghanistan. We might as well, right? Might as well. 
Are they allied to anyone? No. And I'm not going to call anyone in, so... Can you guys win immediately? You might be able to, you might not. It is mountains. Afghanistan is known as the Empire Graveyards, so we'll see what happens. They don't have a lot of manpower, which is nice, but... Like I said, we'll see what happens. Go and help out if you can. Uh, China, yes. We'll take all that stuff. Very good, very good. Definitely increasing our industrial capacity right now, which is awesome. Go straight for Kabul. You might be able to encircle these guys too, which would be great. Losses, 2,000 versus 4,000. Not bad, not bad. Mm, tungsten, do we need tungsten? I don't think so. No, we got plenty. Plenty of tungsten right now. Just keep these guys in place. That's all that matters right now. Yeah, that's what we'll have to take more stuff. Can't win on the attack yet, but that's okay. I can't imagine they have that much more manpower, right? 15,000. Oh, I got, still got 16,000, sort of. Not bad for them, not bad. Come on. I know it's mountains, and you gotta walk up and down a whole lot here, but come on. Come on. Good. Nope. I wish there was a button to just tell your, these people that just stop throwing people at me. Please. I'm going to get rid of these two guys. Save a little bit of manpower there. No, 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 no. Oh, actually. You know what? Hmm. Fuel refining is nice. This is nice as well. Radar, nuclear stuff, air stuff. We're going to need some better. Ah, oh, happy 44, my friends. Happy 1944. Oh, I, oh, I want better subs. I want better subs. I should not have done, should not have done it like this. Let me get two. Let's use Chinese divisions for this. Templates. Not bad. I want something small, though. You tank. You guys are fine. Make him 10 combat width. I should have done this a little earlier. Entrenchments. Uh, field hospitals would be good, actually, for those guys. Artillery to help really attack enemy nations, you guys. And honestly, this would cost too much. There you go. And now you go up to 8. There you go. That's bad. Not bad. New theater. Lower down by a little bit. Let time go on. Happy 1944, my friends. And we're going coasts. I really do want to see how far Germany can get with the enemy, though. Hmm. Hmm, there you go. That's fine. Get some more upgrades, maybe. See what happens. Put you under another field marshal. That's fine for now, even though he's a defensive guy. Alright. We are, will have to guard all these islands, which is going to really suck. Really suck. But with Germany able to do whatever it wants to, basically, right now, I'm not too worried about it. Oh, we're going to need so many divisions for this. Good. I should really pay attention to how we're doing in Afghanistan. <laughs> uh, how are we doing? Have we cut him off yet? Have we taken Kabul? Not yet, but we've now have taken it. Great. Hey, we actually beat him up here. Nice. We bypass the Philippines, and we shall strike on the south resource area. The time has come to set our plan in motion. We will strike south and take the resource-rich western colonies for ourselves. Come on, go up north, go up north. And circle those guys, kill them off. Actually, we're defeated. Nice. Oh, uh, we've lost 18,000 versus... Ah, eh, that's not bad. It's better than what I thought would happen. Good. Help attack. Help, help kill them off. And then... Good. Very good. Very nice. Anything else? We're getting more submarinos. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. Anything here? Soryu. Soryu. You class. Radar. I'm not even going to upgrade them just because that'd be a waste of stuff. Torpedo cruisers. I, I, I'm just going to wait for the best torpedoes. There's no point to make. No point to make them yet. Where's the capital now? Oh, it's down here in Harat. Cut them all off this way. You guys help out. Go to Harat. Cool, but you know what? I guess we'll end the episode here after we go ahead and start researching the best torpedoes. But I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Guys. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow as we'll probably go to war with the Allies. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.